Hey guys, uh, Monday, middle of the afternoon. Uh, this morning it was sunny, so uh, I loaded up a video to YouTube and then I uh, had some family stuff to take care of. And uh, by the time I got back, the, uh, the weather turned to shit. So um, <laughs> I won't be spraying those fenders with primer this morning. Uh, so my only choice really is to finish up the wet sanding and buffing on the car body. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to bother filming it because I've shown quite a bit of it in the last two videos. So, uh, you know, three in a row would be a bit much. Uh, but when I'm all done, I'll come back and hopefully we'll have a window of opportunity to uh, get those fenders and hoods sprayed and primer and uh, a few other little jobs. So that's where I'm at. Um, new subscribers, thank you very much. Uh, welcome aboard and, uh, you know, tell your chums and uh, spread the word. So, uh, yeah, let's just get after it, man. Okay, so I'm uh, heading out to the shop. Second cup of coffee. It was still dark when I came out with my first cup. And, uh, you know, check out all this bullshit. It's supposed to snow another few hours anyway. This is why I can't leave the car outside. Anyway, I've had just about enough of this garbage. So, into the shop we go and get to work. Okay, so all the sanding is done and I've been running with the buffer here. Uh, I did come across a spot that uh, I've got to fix. Um, let's say you're at a car show or cruise night and buddy's walking around checking out your car, you know, not saying a word. Then he gets over here and he says, what's with the white spot, man? Well, I'll show you what, what he's talking about. So, I don't know if you can see that. Where is it? There it is. Little white dot. I'm real close here. So, it's about the size of the tip of the pencil. Okay. So, and this is flush. I've sanded this. It's flush. It's not a bump or anything like that. It's crap in the paint. Um, so, I have a, uh, I have a fix for that. It's a little barbaric, um, <laughs> but but it works. I tried it before and it works. So I'm going to use this little unit here, and I'm going to actually gouge that little white dot out of there, and uh, then I'll mix up some stuff and uh, touch that up. So I'll set up the uh, I'll set up the tripod, and uh, and get after it. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna put my eyes on for this one. Now, this is a white speck, so you know when you're looking at this thing, it's it sucks your eyeballs in like a magnet. You know, it draws your attention to it. It's so small, it's stupid, but it is what it is. Anyway, The idea is just to get it lower than the surface around it. I think I almost got it. I'm going to grab a different tool. This is a sewing needle. Okay, I think I got it. So I'm gonna get my special mixture here and uh, touch that up. Okay, so what I got here, got some paint 
I got some clear and I got some hardener and I'm going to mix the three of them together. Not working. What the fuck? That's it. We're going to leave it set, harden, and leave it alone till tomorrow. Okay, well, I know it seemed a little brutal to uh, gouge, gouge a new paint job like that. Um, but when you take the, the mixture of the paint with the clear and the hardener, mix it all together, it's almost like a, it's going to act almost like a putty, really. And I just blobbed it on there. So uh, once that's dry in the morning, I'll, uh, I'll sand it out. It should be fine. And, uh, yeah, so I'll see you in the morning. Um, it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. So uh, I don't know if I'll finish buffing it or not. I'll, I'll probably put the car outside so that I can spray the fenders uh, as soon as it warms up anyway. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, and I was so anxious to get after that uh, touch-up with the... Uh, sandpaper i set the camera up on a tripod and uh you know sanded it out but uh, i didn't press the uh, record button properly so that's where the spot was just below that tape and you can clearly see it's gone so uh yeah it sanded out nice took about 45 seconds so it's ready to buff um it's a nice day today it's actually sunny first day in five um so, you know, I'm going to get this car outside so I can uh, prime those fenders and hood. And because uh, after this, we got one day only. Look at the reflection of that tire in the paint. Sweet. Anyway, uh, yeah, eight of the ne next 10 days is going to be shitty. So <laughs> I can't control the weather, but it's starting to piss me off uh, and costing me time here. So um, I got to take advantage of every sunny day I get. So that's the plan, and uh, yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be back when the car's outside. So I threw the buffer on it real quick before I put the car outside, and just to confirm that the white spot has disappeared. So uh, success, I like it. I don't get a lot of successes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Actually, it worked out good. So uh, I'm pleased. Okay, so I went ahead and finished all the buffing before I. Uh, Put it outside figured might as well i was on a tear you know when you're on a roll keep on rolling so yeah there's some dust and everything on it but uh you know it's gonna get a good wash job later and uh and a shot of wax but anyway the buffing is done so i'm pleased with that so we're gonna head back into the shop and set up some fenders and get them primed finally okay so i've washed everything down with wax and grease remover and uh let's shoot the primer man
do if you see a few spots, we're going to have to block these again as well. Okay, so uh, I had supper and uh, came out and this uh, stuff is set up pretty good uh, it doesn't look bad there's there's a couple of spots they're a little wonky uh, right in this area here a little uh, little wavy so we're gonna have to block sand them again um, same with the rear fenders a little bit uh, with the bead it's a little funky in spots uh, but overall not too bad the hood had a little wave down here at the bottom and there's a couple of spots around the hinge that need to be fixed up so uh yeah so we're gonna use the uh little cheap primer here from canadian tire and give this thing a guide coat all the parts so that we can uh sand them anyway you get the idea okay so the guide coats on everything and uh as soon as it sets up it should be almost dry already i'm gonna pack all this stuff up all the parts and uh put them aside so that i can bring the car back in because it's supposed to rain and snow a little later on this evening so uh yeah weather sucks man it was a nice day today though I'll, I'll give it that so uh yeah i'm gonna pack this stuff up and uh, bring the car in and uh that'll be just about it for tonight i guess And she's in for the night okay so there you have it uh even though we had you know miserable weather uh, i was able to work around it uh when it rained i wet sanded and buffed on the car and got the whole body done so that's uh that's a big one out of the way big job uh and with the one sunny day i did have uh got the fenders primed uh it's gonna have to be like i said they've, they've all got to be blocked again primed again and then we'll see how they look uh they may need two more blockings i don't know but uh yeah and i've shown a lot of that in the last couple of videos so i'm i'm not going to film any of that stuff um in fact uh, i've had a couple of guys uh message me and send me notes and uh comments below been getting a lot more of those lately um all asking for videos on the 51 chevy so next week uh, i'm going to put two out on the on the Chevy and uh, you know give uh, 
give the guys a break uh, on the Model A for a little bit. I'm still going to work on it, though. Um, you know, I'll block sand and stuff like that. I spend a couple hours a day on it. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to put out two videos on a 51 Chevy next week. So, uh, if that's what you're into, that's what it'll be. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, it was it was a nice day today. But, you know, we get one nice day and then three or four days of crap. So, um, it's supposed to be nice Friday. Uh, so, I can wheel the car back out and have some room in here to do some work. Um, new subscribers got a whack of them yesterday. Uh, thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, it's from you guys, uh, spreading the word, man, you know, telling your buddies, telling your chums. And, uh, I, I appreciate it. Uh, people are leaving more comments, uh, as we go along. So, uh, that's cool. I, I like the comments and please do. It also helps the channel out, uh, something called an algorithm. Uh, I'm not sure how you spell that or what it means, but whatever. Uh, yeah, moving right along. So getting real close in this thing, man. You know, the body's done. All I got to do is paint the parts and bolt them all together and, and call it a day. It's done. So I'm uh, getting anxious for that. And once it's gone for good, well, I have my garage back, you know, for a little while anyway, until the next project rolls in. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to uh, take it easy tonight, maybe watch a ball game and uh, have a nice ice cold pop. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And, uh, you know, if you don't, uh, don't do anything else, get out in the garage and build something, man. Later, guys.